Hello, I'm Yoshi Watson and I'm the project manager of Northampton Music 365. And I'm Jo Burns-Russell and I'm the project director. I think Northampton needs organisations like Northampton Music 365 um, because we, we have an incredible music scene. Um, I mean, it, we really are spoiled with the talent that's available in this town, but um, unfortunately there's not that many opportunities to showcase that. Uh, I think Northampton needs Northampton Music 365 um, because we're really the main community funded organisation that is uh, focusing on providing uh, music activity for Northampton. I think Northampton Music 365 is really important because there's such a big range of talent in Northampton and it kind of brings everyone together and as well as the experience you also get a lot of feedback so you can work on yourself and performance. They always try and give new local talent an opportunity especially with the wire factor which is now the factory um, and now you're starting to see they're being more involved in Northampton music. So last year the Northampton Music Festival took over the Y Factor for the first time and incorporated this as our youth music development programme. Um, since then we've decided to change the name to The Factory. This was mainly because we felt that when the Y Factor started, um, which was about nine years ago, uh, the X Factor was much more relevant to the young people that it was speaking to and now as things have progressed that's maybe less of a key focus for it. We've got a young designer who's set up his own design company called Josh Morley Smith um, who runs Paradox Arts to do the full rebranding of, of all the visual side of things. So we're now heading towards the finals which will be held at Roadmender which are on the 2nd of April and this links into the main festival. The, the winner of the final will perform on the main stage at the Northampton Music Festival in June this year. It was my third year of doing the Y Factor this year and I've managed to put a band together with the help of some other people who I've met through Y Factor and Northampton 365. Well, they've got the Facebook page set up. They have basically an instruction manual if it's your first time performing with them and they'll give you that so literally nothing can go wrong and they've really got it down to a T. Hi, I'm Joe Burns Russell. Hi, I'm Yoshi Watson. And welcome to the second episode of the Live Sessions Project. In terms of the projects that we've got coming up, um, our Live Sessions Project is one of the things that I'm most excited about working on. Um, the idea with the Live Sessions is that we um, create regular video uh, showcases of Northampton bands and Northampton venues. Um, it enables us to have a platform that leads up to the festival and it and gives us a kind of great media outreach um, and enables us to actually kind of show the bands in a way that perhaps people wouldn't necessarily engage with when they only see them on Festival Sunday. All across the whole country is that small music venues are, are really struggling and they're really struggling to get people in there. So by us going in and filming bands at the venues, hopefully people can watch that and go, wow, that looks like a really good music venue in Northampton that I might not have been to before. So we're, we're trying to kind of support both the bands and the actual music venues in Northampton by creating the, these videos. And the great thing about having a video project is it's got legacy long after the event itself. It's going to sit online for years, people can go back and re-engage with it. So that's, that's something really important for us as an organisation that we're not just about one weekend a year. We are creating all of these kind of other promotional opportunities um, through all of our outreach projects, through the live sessions in the factory and uh, everything else we're involved in. And now we're going to have a look at the Northampton Music Festival. I did the Northampton Music Festival last year and that was a really good experience and I was honoured to actually get a slot because I know that um, a lot of people apply for that. Um, I think where we've been successful as an organisation in raising the profile of the town um, has just been in the in the growth of, of the project really over the last kind of four years. Um, I mean when I first came in and did my first festival four years ago it was one stage in the Market Square. Um, last year we presented six outdoor stages, we had over 400 musicians perform, uh, we had 15 supporting venues and a footfall on Main Festival Sunday of 35,000 people. People, um, which is just incredible to think that many people are coming into the town and engaging in, in music.